to weather now, Joseph. Didn't look like a bad day out there for it. A little bit of rain, but we really need that rain right now because we're talking about record drought lovers, right? Yeah, we surely do need the rain. Drought conditions, we need the relief from that. It's been very dry so far this spring. We know that. And you're hoping for some rain to come out of these clouds here. And we may have a quick splash here this evening, but overall it is still dry. And there's not much rain in the forecast as well. It's one of my weather headlines here. You see the first one actually. So tomorrow we do have a small threat for some isolated showers, but I would say that for most of the Mother's Day, tomorrow is going to be dry. If you end up seeing some rain, you could almost count yourself lucky because I just don't believe you're going to see much. And then warm and sunny throughout the week. Temperatures probably soaring back into the 70s, maybe some more 80 degree temperatures in the forecast here, as you can tell behind me. The chance for some rain Sunday into Friday, all the way through the work week, is really low. Uh, tomorrow's likely our best shot, and then we'll have to see about maybe next weekend. Observed rain so far this May, just, yeah, low totals. Uh, seven hundredths of an inch, we're already about a half an inch below where we should be. And as I mentioned, this week we are not expecting any more rain. Uh, after maybe tomorrow. You can see the drought conditions here, which is about the whole state. In fact, the whole state is seeing some section of the drought from dry to moderate. And you even have about 3.6% of the state in an exceptional drought. And check it out, it extends all the way through the west coast down to the southwest, just over all the conditions out here from the Cascades over towards the Rockies. It's just very dry, so we need some rain. So yeah, most locations, I'm gonna post this on social media as well so you can get the idea of the different drought categories from the abnormally dry all the way down to the exceptional drought where you have some problems maybe with uh, you know crop losses and, and things along that nature. So we just don't want that at all. So where's the rain? Uh, we do have a small, weak disturbance to the northwest, which may bring in some showers, as I mentioned, late tonight. Very hit or miss and spotty. Um, likely seeing those uh, up to the northwest, but we may have this batch of moisture just off to the west there that the radar is picking up over the Pacific move in our direction. We'll see if that can bring anything, especially uh, for areas of the valley, but as I mentioned, it just doesn't look likely. Future cast through the overnight keeps the clouds in place, and then here's early tomorrow morning, maybe a couple spotty showers and some clouds. Pretty clear over there, east of the Cascades, the Dalles, um, maybe a quick splash out towards Pendleton as well, but most locations stay in dry tomorrow. If we end up seeing a shower here in Portland and around the Willamette Valley, it'll probably be somewhere around the late afternoon to the early evening hours uh, while you're watching us, and I'll have you covered there. All right, future cast as we go into Monday morning. There's some clouds there, but again, not much rain. And then we start clearing out through the week. If we see anything, it may be some more clouds moving in on Tuesday and Wednesday, but our temperatures are expected to drive into the upper 70s to 80 degrees. And notice that we just do not uh, have any rain in the forecast. I love this groovy kind of graphic. Yeah, I, could, I had to choose it. Uh, so many flowers. This is uh, Mother's Day tomorrow. 50s, 64 degrees by 5 p.m. Uh, we keep 60s for tomorrow, maybe Monday. And then look at this, Liz. We're back to about 80 degrees on Wednesday. A nice warm and dry day. And we keep it across the forecast all the way to the weekend. Love the groovy Mother's Day graphic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joseph.